In the early months of 2018, Microsoft released Windows 10 version 1803 and they removed a very important feature which was the home group. The home group basically allowed us to share whatever files and media we had on one computer onto another computer around the house over the network. This allowed us to seamlessly share whatever videos and music and pictures that we had on one computer with the rest of the family in the house with their computers. Since they removed the home group, we were no longer able to do this. So I set out on a little task to try and figure out a new way to do this. And to my surprise, I found a new way. And this new way was probably even better than the home group. I made a little video about it and I posted it on YouTube and it was very well received. I ended up getting over 120,000 views. I ended up getting close to 1,500 likes, 800 subscribers countless of thank you comments and other comments and uh, I felt like a small celebrity <laughs> because um, as such a small YouTuber that I am getting that much attention was mind-blowing stuff. So today I decided to recreate that video again however this time I'm going to go just a little bit further and do a step-by-step -step guide with a fresh version of the new Windows 10 which is version 1809 and as you can see 1809 now features the new dark mode so you can have a dark mode in Windows Explorer and uh, I kind of like this feature it's pretty cool and I haven't attempted to share anything around the house just as yet so you guys are going to come along for the ride with me as I'm sharing my files from the beginning till the end and you get to witness the whole lot. So if you want to learn on how to share your files between computers around the home network, stick around and I'll show you how step by step. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, here we go. The first thing you want to do is click on the start button just on the bottom left hand corner of the screen and then simply head up a little bit to settings and go ahead and click on that to open the settings pane and within the settings window we need to look for network and internet once we select network and internet you will see the type of connection that your computer currently has this could be either an ethernet connection or a wi-fi regardless of what this is we need to set this to private network so just scroll down a little bit and go ahead and click on change connection properties and within the network profile you need to select private this is very important, so make sure this is on private. Once you've selected private, simply go back and then go down to status. Once you've selected status, go down to sharing options. Go ahead and click on this, and then this is the sharing options window. You'll need to make sure that the network discovery is on, which this would be on by default anyway, and the box is ticked. File and printer sharing, we definitely need to have this switched on, so go ahead and click on Turn On. Guest and public network, we can leave this alone, we don't need to touch anything there. However, in all networks, we need to go ahead on the right hand side and just expand it by clicking that little arrow. And then go down to use 128-bit encryption, just leave that as it is, that should already be selected. But the most important thing in this page is that you need to have password protected sharing switched off. So go ahead and click on turn off password protected sharing. Once you've done this, go ahead and click on save changes. Then the window will close. However, now at this stage, this should be available to PCs around the network. But if you want to take it a step further and share your media with other devices around the house, like gaming consoles, smart TVs, tablets, mobile phones, you need to go back into sharing options. And then we go back down to all networks and expand it. And this time we click on choose media streaming options. Once we click on choose media streaming options, you need to make sure that whatever devices are in here are allowed to access your media. So make sure you click on allow all and then go down and click OK. So this part of the setup is pretty much done. Before we choose which folders we want to share, however, I'll just quickly check and make sure that a particular service is running. That's very important when it comes to sharing. 
The way to get there is simply go to, down to the Cortana search box and type in services. And we need to select the services desktop app, which is this one. Once we go in here, we need to scroll down to F. This is all in alphabetical order, so A, B, C, D, E, F, okay. And we need to make sure that the function discover resource publication is actually running. In my situation, it's already running and it's set to automatic, but on other computers, it may be turned off or it even may be set up on manual. So in order to change this, you just need to double click on the name and then the startup type should be set to automatic. Once this is an automatic, if it's not running already, go ahead and click on the start button and then click OK. This will just make sure that we are sharing and then get out of this window altogether. The next step is to find out what we want to share and or enable whichever files and folders we do want to share. So simply go down to the Windows Explorer icon in your taskbar, open that up and then on the left hand side select this PC. I'm already on this PC as you can see but a lot of people have it by default on the quick access. That's why I'm choosing this PC. So go ahead and click on this PC and then you will see all your standard folders where you keep your media. You have your videos, music, pictures, documents and so on. Now the first thing I want to do is share my videos folder because that's what we share around the house in most situations. So in the videos folder you need to go ahead and right click. Once you right click, simply scroll down to give access to, hover your mouse over it and then go down to specific people. Once you've selected specific people, now we need to select everyone as a user, which means that we're sharing all our videos to everyone around the local network. So in that empty area at the top, select that little drop down arrow and select every, everyone. Once you've selected everyone, go ahead and click on add. And now you will see that everyone is in the list down below. This is a personal preference, but you can either allow everyone to only read the original files, or if you click on read and write, that means that they will be able to modify the file or even delete the file from the secondary computer. I like to have full control on the main computer, so I will just select read, so any other people around the house cannot delete or modify that file in any way. And then once you've done this, you go ahead and click on share. This may take a few minutes depending on the amount of items you have within that folder and then you will see that uh, your desktop name, in my situation, it is the gdjsd6s slash videos is now being shared around the house. And then I'll click on done. I am quickly going to share some of the other folders as well so just bear with me, I'll fast forward this bit. Once you've shared a few folders, it's pretty easy to forget which ones you've shared. So an easy way to see what you have shared is simply by going up the top in the address bar and select backslash backslash localhost, as you can see written down already, and hit enter. And you can see which folders you are actually sharing to the rest of the local network. In my situation, I've got documents, music, pictures, videos, and some of the users folders, which is which is the desktop and the downloads folder. Now, these folders should be available to everybody within my house. So what I'm gonna do now is just put it to the test and log into my laptop and see if we can access these files on the laptop itself. Okay, so we are now on my laptop and we'll be performing the same initial procedure as before. So go ahead and click on the start button and go up to settings. Once we're in the settings, go up to network and internet and go ahead and click on that. And you will see that now this is presented by my Wi-Fi, which is the same router that's connected with my desktop. However, this needs to be changed to private. So I'm going to go ahead and change connection properties and I'm going to select private. Once again, this is very important. Once I've selected private, we're going to go back and then we go down to status within the status pane go down to sharing options and go ahead and click on this 
And the same thing as before, we want to make sure that the network discovery is on and the automatic setup is set up, turned on as well. File and printer sharing, yes, you want to turn this on. Guest and public, we don't need to worry about this. However, all networks, once again, we'll select it. Leave everything as it is. However, do go down to password protected sharing and select turn off password protected sharing and then save the changes. Once you've saved the changes, that'll go off. You need to click on sharing options again. This time, again, go back to all networks, expand it, and select choose media streaming options. And once again, you want to allow all on this side. So select allow all and then click OK. And that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to close all this off. Once again, I'm going to go back to services to check if the function discovery resource publication is switched on. So I'll just type in Cortana services and select the services desktop app. And scrolling down to F function discovery resource application okay so on the laptop it's set up as a manual start however I'll be double clicking on this again and I'll be changing this to automatic if it's not activated make sure you do click on start and then click OK and that's pretty much it if you do want to share any files from the laptop to the desktop you do need to select which folders you want to share so once again you go to file explorer and then you click on this PC and select which folders you want to share. So if I want to share my videos, I'll be right clicking on the videos, give access to specific people. And then from the drop down box, I will select everyone and then add. And you can see now everyone is selected and I will go ahead and click on share and this is now available to the rest of the network including media players and gaming consoles and all the rest of the stuff that's pretty much it once we've clicked on done now you can see that um, anthony which is the main computer is available to me as a media device however i do want to access the files manually so this way what i'm going to do is i'll just click on network on the left hand side here and I'm going to look for my actual desktop. Okay, so it needs to look like this. It needs to look like an actual PC and not a media device. Once I find my desktop name, which is GDJSD6S, I'll double click on that. And now you can see all the folders that I was sharing before as what I saw under the backslash backslash local host on my desktop. So now, if I do want to watch a video from my desktop, all I need to do is just select the videos folder, and then I can access anything that I want in here. And I'll just double click on whichever file, just as if it's locally in my own computer or laptop. I can also fast forward. Depending on your network speed, this should be instantaneous. And that's pretty much it. Pause, get out of here. I can do the same thing with my pictures. So once again, I'll just go back and then go into my pictures. If I need to see some pictures, I'll just go through my folders, double click, and it'll open locally on my laptop, just as if the file is on the laptop itself. And that's how you share your files across the network in Windows 10 1809.